The Four Troublesome Heads was released in 1898. It is a French film um, directed, written, and starring Georges Malaise, one of the pioneers in the film industry. Now, this film is not even a minute long. However, <laughs> this film is one of the first known, actually, I think it's the first film known to use multiple exposures on a black background in film. And um, which in his career, Georges Malaise was known to use quite a bit. Um, this particular film is, well, the title pretty much says it. <laughs> Uh, George Melez plays a magician, as he does in several of his films, and there's special effects, and so it's it's like magic tricks with the idea of the illusion of four heads, <laughs> and um, like I said, it's like not even a minute long and um it shows off special effects this is of course like i said in 1898 and george malaise he played around and experimented a lot with, <laughs> with film and this shows that. And like I said, this is the first known use of multiple exposures on a black background. I got to tell you something, when I was in college and had to photograph on a black background, it's it's terrible. And I can't even imagine in the 1890s having to do that. <laughs> but, but he pulls it off. <laughs> and um, so, but now there was an illegal print that was released in 1903 here in the U.S. Because, of course, now it wasn't uh, Thomas Edison for once. <laughs> it was someone else by, uh, someone by the name of Sigmund Lubin. And the title was uh, Four Heads Are Better Than One. And uh, so a lot of times when you see this film, it'll say that it's uh, uh, four troublesome heads or four heads are better than one. That's the illegal copy. <laughs> no, the official copy is four troublesome heads. And um, so, but anyway, four troublesome heads by George Malaise. It shows a lot of the special effects for the 1890s. It's not even a minute long. 